Hello, beloved brothers and sisters. May the peace of the Lord be with you. It is with great joy and gratitude that I invite you to another blessed meeting, full of divine presence. Today, we will delve into the word of the Lord together, and before we begin this spiritual journey, I would like to warmly welcome you in the name of our loving God. Psalm 13, attributed to King David, is a vivid expression of the range of human emotions that accompany experiences of anguish, despair, and search for hope in the face of adversity. This poetic poem, incorporated into the Book of Psalms of the Bible, echoes someone who feels overwhelmed by God, launching a deep cry for the Divine Presence in my tribulations. The poetic composition of Psalm 13 reveals a sincere inner struggle, where the psalmist questions the apparent absence of God in his life. A opening with a powerful, How long, Jehovah. 8 When, Senor, reflects a persistent anxiety and a feeling of helplessness during adverse circumstances. These initial verses establish a tom of urgency, encapsulating the restlessness of the soul that longs for divine answers. The psalmist, in his affliction, expresses the pain of feeling torn and terrified by the possibility of God withdrawing his over protector. A metaphor, how long will you hide your face from me? 8 When will you hide your face from me, highlights the anguish of living in an apparent divine abandonment, intensifying the search for relief and divine intervention. The second stanza of Psalm 13 reveals an internal struggle and a dialogue with himself, where the psalmist confronts his own emotions. To ask, how long will I put advice in my soul, with sadness in my heart every day? 8 When I place advice in my soul, with sadness in my heart every day, illustrates the battle between the mind and the heart, between logical reasoning and emotional love. The psalmist's plea for divine illumination, expressed in the third stanza, reveals a profound need for guidance and consolation. The request for God to illuminate your eyes, is a search for spiritual discernment and clarity in the midst of emotional darkness. Despite the affliction, Psalm 13 does not end in despair. The last stanza is a turning point, where the psalmist affirms his confidence in divine mercy. The need to trust in God himself in the most difficult circumstances is the key to transition from sadness to joy. The psalmist concluded with a note of hope and gratitude, declaring that he will sing to God because he has been good. Asim, Psalm 13 is a profound poetic expression touching the human spiritual journey, addressing the emotional complexities of faith, doubt and trust in God, even in the darkest moments of life. Let's now reflect on Psalm 13, and then we will pray our Father Amen. How long, Jehovah? Will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long will I put advice in my soul? With sadness in my heart every day? How long will my enemy be exalted above me? Look, hear me, Jehovah my God. He enlightens my eyes, so that I do not sleep in death. Lest my enemy say, I defeated him. My enemies will rejoice, if I slip. But I have trusted in your mercy. My heart will rejoice in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord. Because he has done me good. Lord, my God and Father, I ask you to bless each of these people, to protect them and free them from all evil. Grant them comfort in their hearts, remove all fear, weakness, hurt, anxiety and depression. Free, rescue them. From all the enemy's traps, Lord, and heal those who are sick, whether in hospital beds or in other places. Visit them by your power. My God and Heavenly Father, in humility and reverence, we approach you at this time, crying out for your divine intervention and blessing upon all the hearts that have taken the time to contemplate the sacred words of this psalm. You are the God who heals wounds, who protects and blesses his children, 
and we trust in your mercy and love in this special time. Lord, look tenderly on each person who heard this psalm, knowing the joys and pains that reside in their hearts. We ask, Father, that you heal all emotional, physical, and spiritual wounds that may exist. You are the great doctor, capable of restoring and renewing. May hope flourish and peace overflow like a river, flooding every area of need. In your sovereign hands, we place the protection of all those who were here, Father. We know that we live in a world full of challenges, but we trust that your protective hand is upon us. Send your angels to surround and guard each person, warding off all evil and freeing them from all the snares of the enemy. May the presence of the Holy Spirit be felt as an inviolable fortress. Lord, in your infinite love, abundantly bless those who, with sincerity, sought your presence at this moment. Grant dreams of prosperity, not only material but also spiritual and emotional. May each home be permeated by your grace, providing a life of quality and meaning for the families represented here. In the name of the Lord Jesus, whose sacrifice reconciled us to you, we lift up this prayer. May she be like sweet incense before your throne. Beloved Heavenly Father, in humility and reverence, entering into your sovereign presence, reconnoitering your majesty and power. Lord, I pray that your divine anointing may flow abundantly upon every person who is present in this sacred moment of reflection and adoration. Renew, O Lord, the spiritual life of each one of them. May the Chama de Fe burn more intensely, illuminating your hearts with the knowledge of your word. Train yourselves, Pi, to be powerful instruments in yours, raising the light of the gospel to all who are lost and needy. Grant wisdom, O Deus, to each one of your children who seeks to follow your paths may they be guided by the Holy Spirit in every decision and that your will prevail in all areas of their lives. Lord, extend your mouths of healing to those who face illnesses. It was done in a hospital bed, touching its restorative power. May your glory be manifested through miraculous cures, so that the testimony of your goodness may be proclaimed. Rebuke, O God, every evil mushroom that is launched against the families represented here. May the peace of the Lord surround the lands and may harmony reign, destroying any work of others. Liberate, Pi, those who face family challenges, guiding them with your loving mouth. Lord Jesus, I thank you for hearing this prayer and for being alive in the lives that I heard. Continue to work in every heart, strengthening faith, renewing hope and showering blessings in measure. Lord, I come before you in this moment of deep gratitude and humility. I thank you for another day granted, for all the blessings you generously showered on us. I recognize, with a heart full of gratitude, that it is through your mercy and love that we can face each new dawn. In this moment of communion, I express my sincere appreciation for your constant presence in our lives. You are the lighthouse that guides us in hours of darkness, the inexhaustible source of grace that sustains us through daily challenges. I thank you for your faithfulness that is renewed every morning and for your kindness that surrounds us like a protective mantle. Lord, I pray that these words of gratitude and praise reach the ends of the earth. May, through our prayers, your light shine upon those who do not yet know your word. May each prayer be like seeds thrown in the wind, reaching thirsty hearts around the world. Bless, Lord, those who seek your face, and touch the hearts of those who have not yet found the way to you. May your word be proclaimed with power and may the message of your love reach even the most remote places. In your name, I also ask for protection and blessings upon each person who raises their voice in this prayer. Keep us under your wings, guide us with your wisdom, and fill our hearts with compassion and love for one another. I thank you, Lord, 
for your abundant grace and for allowing our voices to unite in praise and thanksgiving. May this day be lived in your service and may we be instruments of your love to those around us. In the precious name of Jesus, Amen. Our Father in heaven, blessed be your name. Your kingdom eats. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts. Just as we also forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, the honor and the glory, today, tomorrow and forever. Amen. Glory to God. In the conclusion of Psalm 13, we find a powerful example of spiritual transformation and renewed confidence. The psalmist's tumultuous journey, marked by questions, anguish and the feeling of being at the mercy of adversity, culminates in an emotional upheaval. The psalm does not remain in a persistent lament, but evolves into a resilient declaration of faith and thanksgiving. The transition from despair to hope is encapsulated in the subtle transition from supplication to trust. By crying out for divine illumination and guidance, the psalmist reveals a willingness to receive God's light in the midst of darkness. The poetic image of Illumina Mis Ojos, para que no duerma de muerte, illuminate my eyes, so that I do not sleep the sleep of death, suggests a search for spiritual life and renewal, contrasting with the possible spiritual lethargy that the absence of God can bring. The culminating moment of the psalm is the expression of confidence in divine mercy. Even when circumstances scream despair, the psalmist chooses to trust in God's compassionate character. This act of trust is not just a theoretical recognition of the existence of God, but a profound emotional surrender that transcends human limitations. The conclusion of Psalm 13 with the promise to sing to God is a powerful affirmation of gratitude. The act of singing is not just a ritualistic response, but a vibrant, joyful expression of renewed joy in the presence of God. The final word, Pico mi ha hecho bien, because he has done me good, resonates as a personal testimony to the transformative experience of recognizing divine goodness, even in the most challenging situations. Therefore, Psalm 13 transcends the boundaries of lament and affliction, emerging as a hymn of resilient faith and gratitude. Traversing the depths of human emotions, from doubt to trust, and culminating in the celebration of divine goodness, Psalm 13 becomes a universal narrative of the spiritual journey that resonates through the ages, offering comfort and inspiration to those facing their own storms. Emotional and Spiritual <laughs>